Can you just say about um, Apophis? Apophis! Apophis. An asteroid the size of the Rose Bowl. Discovered December 2004. Headed towards Earth. It's not alone among asteroids headed towards Earth, except that this one is headed, excuse me, there's a whole set of asteroids that cross Earth's orbit. That alone is not a problem. You cross the street all the time, but at different times the trucks drive by, okay? So the issue is, are you crossing the street when the truck is driving there at the same moment? That simultaneity is what matters. Apophis, when you ran the calculations, showed that there's a chance of it hitting us in the year 2036 with a close approach in the year 2029 on April 13th, a Friday, by the way. And, but here's what's significant about that. We've had close approaches before, but none this close. This is the size of the Rose Bowl, and in, on April 13th, 2029, it'll come close enough to Earth to dip below our orbiting communication satellites. Do you think 2.5% is a big number for that asteroid to come to Earth? No, the, the, right now the best estimates are several in a million that it will hit us in 2036. And if it does, it will likely hit the Pacific Ocean, plunge into a depth of three miles, explode, cavitate the ocean, send waves of tsunamis, the first one from the impact, the second one because the water splashes back into the cavity, goes high into the air, drops back down and sends another pulse. This will go on about 40 times. There'll be multiple tsunamis. I was just on the Santa Monica beach two nights ago because Santa Monica is the first city to get hit because it's it's the beeline right up from Santa Monica, 600 kilometers into the Pacific. Five-story tall tsunami would take out the entire west coast of the United States. But nobody has to die, because we know this well in advance. And, but I think two people will die. The, the stupid surfer who wants to surf that tsunami, you know, we know people like this, right? You know, you see them. And you know who else, of course, the, the, the weatherman who wants to bring the camera guy closer. Can you see the waves hitting the shore? Okay, take him out too. We don't need either one of them, and we'll get on with that. That would be a great James Cameron movie. <laughs>